I am grateful to see this first session being held in the Republic of Burundi. And I am convinced that it is a good opportunity for AYALA members to see how Burundi is peaceful, secure, and stable in every corner of the country. Our guests will have the opportunity to realize the legendary hospitality of the Burundian citizens and above all the highly significant progress already recorded in all sectors of national life. Eyala gathering in this beautiful land is an opportunity for Burundian people to know and understand the role of this prestigious institution of the East African community of which Burundi currently holds the speakership. As you know, our motto highlights that we are one people and that we have one destiny. I wish to assure you that Eyala and the Council of Ministers have been working together and closely to foster our regional integration. We have always worked together to solve every wicked problem that could arise and we always found a lasting solution. This successful experience should characterize us in our aim of improving cooperation between East African community institutions. Borrowing from Henry Ford in the book entitled The Spirit of Leaders, Dr. Miles Munro recognized that coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress, but also working together is a success. We should therefore strive to reach together success as no great accomplishment has ever been achieved by one individual. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Burundi, the Council of Ministers of our community is aware of the varied matters of concern AYALA members have always raised. Some of them include AYALA to have full autonomy, full independence, as far as financial management is concerned. AYALA members have always raised the issue of having their sessions for 21 days and not for 14 days, to name a few. I want to assure AYALA members that the Council is aware of all this. These are issues that are on the table of the Council of Ministers. We shall deal with them tactfully, reflecting on the best future of our community as a whole. The Council members and the AYALA members, we are all of us leaders. Together, we will cherish the accession by Gaile Bebe in his book entitled The Shaping of an Effective Leader that I quote, a key duty of an effective leader is to strive for the best possible economic results from the resources currently available, end of quotation. Together, we shall get a solution if need be, we will seek guidance from our principles as some decisions may need political guidance.